before all the previews released for the forthcoming Blade Runner 2049, fans haven't seen much of Dave Bautista's sapper. Today, the character has been given a formal introduction in the new prequel short 2049 Nowhere to Run. Directed by Luke Scott Morgan, the Alien Covenant shorts, Ridley Scott's son, the short film introduces Sapper as a hulking but gentle replicant, a man who's just trying to survive under the radar. He meets up with a young girl to share one of his favorite books before heading to a trader to sell some nematodes. When a group of thugs threaten his little friend, however, H.E. is forced to step out of the shadows and reveal his true, powerful potential. Check it out the clip is the second of three prequel shorts commissioned by Blade Runner 2049 Helmer Dennis Villeneuve to fill in the gaps between the original film and his sequel. The first, also directed by Scott, highlighted Jared Leto's Neander Wallace in Nexus 2036. Part 3 is entitled Blade Runner 2022 and features a score from Flying Lotus. The animated short was directed by the acclaimed Shinichiro Watanabe Cowboy Bebop and features additional music from Miguel Atwood Ferguson and Quado. Below, read Philo's tweets geeking out about his involvement in 2022 and watch a behind-the-scenes preview of the upcoming short, Blade Runner 2049 hits theaters on October 6. Doing something with Watanabe was a dream of mine. Cowboy Bebop is one of the greatest KUSO at Flying Lotus September 15, 2017 I was watching the old Blade Runner every night earlier in the year and they hit me up to do this project on a rare rainy day and look KUSO at Flying Lotus September 15, 2017 First things I thought was how cool it would be to get Quado and at Magellitude Frings and Involve too. It all came out so good. Really proud of it. KUSO at Flying Lotus September 15, 2017 When I saw a rough cut of 2022 the temp music was from my past albums. Seeing Blade Runner imagery set to my music was a beautiful feeling. KUSO at Flying Lotus September 15, 2017